Hello everybody, Walker here. Welcome back to Dwarf Fortress Steam Edition. Yeah, I'm still... I haven't tried anything since last time we did the video. Um, these guys are mining out this big open space that I'm... 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 I'm half tempted to leave it a big open space, to be honest. Uh, it seems to be the better option. We had two deaths. One of them, we're not sure how it occurred. The other one was a dwarf who decided they um, wanted to make something and then refused to make it. So even though we supplied them with everything they asked for, uh, apparently it wasn't good enough. They wanted specific items. Stacked cloth, which apparently is not the same as regular cloth. We have uh, this miasma that is leaking out from that rotted corpse that no one dragged over here for some reason, even though there is plenty of space for it. Um, maybe it's because it has to say corpse on it. I don't know. Um, we're going to check. Yeah, it looks like that might be part of the problem. A forgotten beast, maybe? How about where? Where mice? Was that on there? No. I want dwarves over here. That's the thing, because the dwarves... So I guess if I hit all and then I take dwarves out of the equation, maybe that'll take care of the problem. Um, basically, miasma is bad. It's going to make our dwarves sick. They're not going to be happy. Um... They'll get over it. Luckily, this is open air all the way around here. I never closed that all in uh, after I dug out the slopes. So it's dissipating very quickly. And oh no, we have another guild. We never, we haven't even finished our room for the first prior guild. Uh, we're making a bunch of tables for the prior guild. We set up a new medical dwarf. Uh, no merchants right now. So basically, I'm trying to figure out why Sarvesh refuses to work here. And I honestly couldn't tell you why uh, off the top of my head. We're going to figure it out, though, because he is the guy who's supposed to be doing that. And if he's not, then, well, something's wrong. <laughs> Um, that's fine. I'll just put two doors there. Do I have any more doors? Yeah. And we'll decorate this. We'll make it nice. I don't know exactly what guild halls need. Oh, no. Now what? Oh, this is what I was afraid of. Okay. So, um... This is bad. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh god, this is so bad. At least they're taking care of the business, but... Oh my god, this is not good. I'm gonna... We're gonna keep trying... We're gonna keep... We're gonna try and keep this going as long as we can. But I have a feeling my fortress is now gonna die to wear mice. Um... All right, so who's left? Logum? Logum is left. Logum the Weremouse. Logum the Thresher Weremouse. So let's see if it's you can even see that then in here. But I don't think so. Logum was a Thresher. Sigum is a Thresher. This is ridiculous. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how this this might be the end of this fortress, which is fine because then we can we can start season two early, I guess. Uh, if I decide to do that, this is just wrong. Um, creatures, livestock, pets, other. Here we go. Uh, yeah, you. Where are you? Um, both of my squads should probably work together to kill him. Oh my god! He just killed him! Oh no, he's dead. Oh no, Thicket's dead! Oh no! 
This is terrible. Uh, this is so bad, and he's not hurt at all. His up left upper leg is... Oh, no. Oh, no! He killed the other one! Oh, my God. Oh, my whole military is dying. Oh, shit! That bad. Um... Uh, Wow, this is not good. This is not good at all. Look at all the death in the... At least it happened in the barracks. Oh my gosh. The worst part of this is, is now... Every last one of these guys is going to turn into one. Oh no. How do I handle this? I have too many dwarves to deal with tons of were dwarves um okay cancel all orders let's just take a look um wow that's just bad okay so we definitely need uh to make a bunch more memorials Oh gosh, a ton more memorials. Don't I already have one for... Uh, too many Arish... Arish Fick something. Yeah, I think that's him. So we were going to make our graveyard over here. Now it's looking like the graveyard is going to be even bigger. So I need... Dead are buried in coffins. Coffins must be placed in their own tomb zone in order to work. Coffin object must be placed before, made before it can be placed. Um, okay, so we can bury them or we can memorialize them. We're going to dig this out a little wider. Also, we're going to set our settings down again. Uh... Actually, can we just make like a ton of coffins? Because it seems like that's going to be the easier task. And make 20 of those. And... Um, I haven't even gotten into the more advanced stuff yet. Uh, Cancel the rock tables for now. Coffins are more important. Oh boy. This is just bad. Bad juju. Bad juju all around. So the other thing I need to do now is actually unforbid pretty much everything. so that people will pick it up and get rid of it. Uh, we're also going to need to build another stockpile, I think, for... Well, I don't know. Oh, so bad, guys. I... yeah. Not... not good at all. Lycanthropy, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that. At least it got rid of some of our uh, dwarves that we don't need. Okay, you're set to make ash. You should be making a lot more bars. Uh, let's go with... Mm, made of platinum ore. And let's just reset that until it's all done. And you should be making coffins. Okay, so here's, first of all, we need to set this up as a tomb. Uh, contain, well, therein lie the rub. I'm not allowed to make, okay, let me see. Maybe I misread that. Furniture, burial. Coffins must be placed in their own tomb zone in order to work. 
coffin object must be placed before it can coffin object must be made before it can be placed. Um, it looks like I need to make coffins, place them down, create the zone, and then set it. Yeah, I approve it, but just get in line. I guess we can, like, make this guild hall here. Turn that off. I don't actually care about that. All right, now let's make this zone here. Coffin rejected, not enclosed. Okie dokie. Looks pretty enclosed to me. Maybe because some of that isn't. Build constructions floor. We'll select after placing so that I can do this the way I want to. I think we're going to, we need 35. Oh, I got a ton of, okay, all out of limestone. That should enclose that completely. Then I probably also need to make a wall, I'm sure. All out of limestone blocks. And we'll cancel one. We can put a door. Which I can't because I need the walls done. <laughs> Alright, get to work guys. Uh, this should be ready to make into a meeting area. And then we will make a new guild hall. And we need a farmer's guild hall for the first one. They, they were the first ones who asked for one. So farmer hall for the guild of flax. Hopefully that's enough for them. Keep going. Keep going. We got stuff to do. We got coffins to make. We've got... Oh boy, this is just so bad. I am um, honestly, uh, I should have done this long before this, but I thought I had more coffins. All right, that's fine. I shouldn't have made those uh, memorials. I should have just done coffins. What? After all that, you're going to give birth to a child? in these times of, of wear mice. Did they like blow through my door? What's your problem? He doesn't feel anything. That's one way to desensitize him, I guess. Uh, upper body is torn open. So you're gonna be a, a, a wear, wear thing. Who's your family here, by the way? Uh, acquaintance. You're surpassing acquaintances. I might start locking peoples in their rooms. That was just... Do we have any... Coffins! Build another... All right, now I should be able to set this as a tomb. And now, they should start dragging the bodies into the coffins. And I don't believe I need to assign, oh yeah. Oh, Sarvesh is dead. Okay. Um. Here I am sitting here complaining about Starfish, and he goes and gets himself killed. That's hilarious to me. Uh, and plant there. 
because we are out of drink, apparently. Uh, I totally neglected I've been neglecting a lot of stuff. That is just hilarious to me that he is now dead. Sarvesh is dead. Oh, for fobbles. No, 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 no. One part per, one body part per coffin, please. Thanks. Alright, I guess we need to start doing some... No. 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 I don't want all of it to be Sarvesh. I mean... Mm -hmm. Assign new location. Oh, are you kidding me? Seriously? It's only his tomb? That's different. It used to be you could just throw a bunch of coffins up and then everyone would be a tomb. I don't want one person's tomb here. Alright, so this is what we're going to do instead. We're going to... Um... Deconstruct both of these. This is, this is how we're going to do this. Uh, this is now... There. So that's how we're going to do this. Uh, if that's the way that this has to be done, then so be it. Multi. Undo that. Paint. Oops. Except... New tomb. Except. There. That should take care of that problem. Cancel removal. Cancel removal. So that'll be Sarvesh, and then this can be whomever they decide to shove in there. Yeah, that's going to work. So we just need more coffins. Build. I need an empty bucket. Do I not have any empty buckets? Well, I guess add new task, make some buckets. Uh, Masterpiece Wood Bucket. That's awesome. Yeah, now we have the problem of all this miasma. Why are they not putting stuff? I guess it's full. Urgh. Stockpile. Let's make another one right here. Accept that. Uh, corpses and... Uh, refuse. Uh, mostly corpses. What is under refuse, by the way? See? That's the problem. Corpses? But refuse is also corpses, right? So, that's kind of why I'm a little annoyed about that. Um, we'll just do it that way. That should fix that problem for us and get some of that miasma out of there. Um... Meanwhile, we will keep making single tombs for people. Weremouse Hunter. <laughs> uh, the problem is, is if we don't do this, then a lot of peoples are going to show up as ghosts and hunt our lovely little town here. And that ain't going to be funny. It's going to be hilarious, but it ain't going to be good. You still need more empty buckets? Jeez, um, how many more empty buckets could you absolutely positively need? More to the point. Oh, um, build furniture, cabinet, use closest mood. Here it goes again. Oh, 
my god, look at how many- Oh, wow. Um, that's not good. This is- Alright, I'm- I'm gonna say that, um, this is probably the end of this fortress. Unless I can find an uninjured- Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, this is how I'm gonna solve this problem. I am going to... <sighs> I'm going to build walls here and here. I don't know how I'm going to solve this problem. Um... I don't, I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna... This is just not good. Um, there they go. <laughs> oh god, look at my population just dropped almost by half. How did I get two? Where did it two come from? Oh, they transform back into dwarfs. Um. Oh my god, this is terrible. Okay, the only way I can survive this is by... I need to uh, quarantine the wear the were dwarves, right? They need to go into their own room. But beyond that, I also need to um, figure out who has not been injured yet and quarantine them from the were dwarves. So, uh, God darn. Um, okay, here's what we're going to do. We are going to make the... That'll work. Yeah, that'll work. We're gonna make the were dwarf. Uh, the were dwarf. Um, <laughs> Murdelator. I don't know what to call it. Uh, we need to. So what we're gonna just we're gonna quarantine all the were dwarfs down here. We're actually going to just abandon all of this. Uh, for now. And, uh, all the war dwarves have to come down here. Uh, likewise, anyone who's been bitten or injured or whatever by anything is going to be down here. Um, we're going to force dwarves down here. We're going to tell them they have to be down here. Uh, likewise, we're going to then also need to figure out where to put the dwarves who have not been injured. And I think the church is probably the best bet. But if we can get all the were dwarves down there um, and get them out of the main building, we can then open the floodgates and maybe drown them. And that should take care of our problem. Uh, we will be out of luck with farmland down here, but that's okay. We can build more farmland. Uh, and what we're going to do is designate this hatch as I think we can do a one-way uh, one way setup. But And how we're going to get them all down here is we're going to set up a burrows. And we're going to assign certain dwarves to that burrows. So... Uh, every other construction project is put on hold. Pretty much. Everything else is on hold. Uh, we do... Ooh, wow. We do need to set up a huge stockpile down here somewhere. Um, just a massive stockpile for body parts. We're gonna just say we're just gonna say corpses and yeah I guess we need to do body parts too. Um, refuse body parts. I don't care about bones, skulls, teeth, and all of that mess because that's not gonna throw off miasma. Uh, 
but the rest of it we definitely need to take care of. So they've got that hatch set up. I yeah okay so passable and forbidden. So this is what we're gonna do. Uh, burrows, pastures, and more. Established burrows organize work and living spaces in larger fortresses. So I'm going to add a new burrow, and it's going to be this. That's more than fine, and we're going to call this Ware Mouse Murdelator. And now we have to have the fun part of trying to figure out who goes down there. So I shouldn't have gotten rid of my list because, well, that would have told me who's a, a were dwarf to begin with. But um, we're going to have to go through one by one. Luckily, we only have a population of 50 now uh, and figure out who's been injured and who hasn't. And this is where I kind of wish there was a list of injured things, you know? Uh, apparently this spear dwarf is fairly hostile. That's weird, but whatever. Uh, there should have... I really wish there was like a medical list. And I thought there used to be one, like under M for medical, maybe? No? No medical list? About uh, world maps, squad bone, justice menu, objects menu, nobles and admin menu, work orders menu, labor menu. Open the place information, open the task information, and the units. So, all right, well, we're going to have to do this uh, the hard way. All right, so, uh, yeah, our miner is probably very. She is basically unbreakable and very agile. Uh, our miner here, Autumn, is probably a were-dwarf. Uh, she doesn't appear to be... Um, totally fully injured, but close enough. So, first up in here is the... Minor, which, and of course, this doesn't list it the same way as that lists it. Uh, this is this is actually pretty annoying. Um, you know what might be easier is if I assigned everybody and then unassigned people. That actually might be easier. What's what's this button do? Toggle whether workshops can source materials from outside the borough. No. Uh, repaint this burrow, pause, recenter, remove permanently. All right, this is what we're going to do. We're just going to assign everybody, and then we're going to go through and just unassign people who are not injured in any way, shape, or form. This might leave us with just a couple dwarven children, but even dwarven children can still run a fortress. They're just not going to do it very well. All right, that's everybody. That's everybody, period. So now, now we got to go through and check. So Autumn, we figure, is going to go in uh, Vabuk. Okay, Vabuk is fine. Incredibly tough and mighty, but he's really slow to heal. So, Vabic, you can uh, be free. Vabic, how about Bemble? Uh, Bemble is definitely a, a rare, rare mouse. Is there a shortcut to that? U, uppercase U. Oh, boy. All right, so we're at the end of the episode. What I'm going to do before next episode is I'm going to go through and... Um, unassign anyone who I don't think is a were mouse and from there what we'll do is um, we will set up a um, alert is there a such thing as alerts in this 
You know, I think there's no alerts in this. I'm gonna have to check that. Uh, check into that. I might have to do this a different way. I'm gonna have to do this a different way. I think. I don't. I think they removed alerts for this particular. For uh, yeah, for this particular. I think they removed alerts for. Door Fortress Steam Edition, and if that's the case, I can't force them down there that way. I'll have to figure out a different way of forcing them down there, um, which I will figure out. But I'm going to continue assigning them to the burrows, and maybe I'll get lucky and they'll just naturally migrate down there, and then I can lock them in there by making this impassable. And then... I can pull this lever and hopefully kill them all. And then we're just going to have a episode worth of cleanup to do, unfortunately. So that's it for this one. Uh, we have a warehouse problem. Our fortress is falling to pieces because of mice. One forgotten beast, and I ignored it. And look, our population dropped by over 20. Almost uh, 30, actually. Uh, terrible terrible news for us uh, we are going to pretty much put rock coffins on repeat now because we're going to need tons of them so we're going to increase that number to like 50 uh, and we're probably going to need to make a bigger tomb here but this is also a good opportunity to clean some of this out and reorganize so let's look at the let's look at the uh <laughs> The positive side of things. We also need to get these these werewolves, uh, werewolves, were mice, gone before the next full moon. So we do have a little bit of time. Um, one month. Ugh, this is terrible. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that uh, as much as I did. If you enjoyed it, likes are appreciated, comments are appreciated. Uh, hit that sub button and the bell icon to be notified of future uploads, and Walker saying, check you later.